is Alexander TV here. And this video is about these old translucent IMAX, or specifically, what's inside of one of these. If you've ever wondered about that, then this video might be interesting for you. Here we've got a 1998 IMAX G3 Raspberry. And um, it's quite a cool computer. You can see through it, just like with all of the IMAX G3s. This one has flyback transformer issues, as all 1998 IMAX G3s seem to have, unfortunately. So, uh, to see what's inside of it, I'm not going to take it apart. Because I already have one that's taken apart. I'll show what's behind this in a moment. A little bit of CRT safety precautions. If you do not know anything about these kinds of old screens, you should not even t try taking it apart. These are very dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. There's high voltages in there, and they could shock you really badly. So, if you want to take these apart, it is a risk, and you have to know what you're doing. If you do know what you're doing, it shouldn't be too dangerous if you take the right safety precautions. The raspberry is out of the way. You can take a look at this, a better look. So in the front, this is where the speakers would have been these holes. This is where the CD drive would have been. No DVD, they only had CD back then. This is the power button. The headphone jacks are still in here. Um, currently, this is actually, for the most part, only the video and not even the power. It doesn't have the power supply inside of it. So on the side, this is the analog board. That's the internal. Now we've got a better look inside of here. As you can see, warnings everywhere, because they're required. This really is dangerous. Uh, these CRTs were made by LG, so I think actually a lot of parts from these IMAX are swappable with LG TVs from the time. Over right here we've got the flyback transformer, which is the most common point of failure for these old IMAX. And unfortunately, I'm pretty sure you can't fix one of these, and it has to be replaced. That's the anode cap. Do not try putting your finger in there. You will get really badly shocked, probably. And if you are working on one of these, you must discharge it by grounding a screwdriver with an alligator clip, and then sliding the flathead screwdriver into the anode cap. If there's a sparking sound, it's discharged. If there isn't, it was discharged. Um, down here, there's a vacuum tube, because the whole CRT is in fact a vacuum tube with a big screen and an electron gun. Um, these are the deflector coils, which make the image look normal. Down here we've got the fan, because computers needed fans back then. Although computers still need fans now, just not all of them have them. It's the analog board, and uh, the actual CRT, this is just a piece of glass. If you break this, then the results are not so good. Here's my antenna. Just don't break these. So now, okay. I brought over the power supply that was originally inside of them. This power supply actually looks really cool. We've got a whole bunch of transformers here, big capacitor, a bunch of smaller ones, resistors, heat sinks. It's quite interesting, really. This is where the power would go. As you can see, that's the power plug. But I'm really not an expert when it comes to power stuff, so I can't really talk much. Finally, what makes an iMac an iMac? The logic board. These original iMacs actually on the bottom had an interesting little tray that would come out. So this is where the hard drive would have been. And over here there would be the CD drive. None of those are over there at the moment. Got some cables. Because it's a computer, there's cables, obviously. Inside of here, this is where the RAM would go. You can upgrade the RAM. This 
to where the battery would have been, which I took it out because the batteries could get a bit leaky, or even worse than a bit. Over here, other than the RAM, is also where the processor would have been underneath this heat sink. And it's an interesting little module here. And now I've got just a big mess of computer parts and stuff all over here. Also, I'm working on polishing this indigo. This is a future project that'll be on my YouTube channel. So anyways, thanks for watching. Goodbye.